Hi guys. In this video we're going to make a decorative light, I hope. So in case you're wondering what that fail video was about that uh, I put up. <coughs> it was this and it failed the first time. Because I used the wrong size cable, that's why. Anyway, for this we are going to need some screwdrivers cutters, 2.5mm twin and earth, or as we call it over here, T and E, cable, <coughs> I've got a little connector block here just in case, I've got a power lead made up with a connector, <coughs> excuse me, that's what that connector block is for, just in case I can't get the cable into this, just in case I need to go and get a bigger one at some point. I've got a bunch of these lap holders. I think I've got 10 here, but I won't need all 10. They've got the spikes in them. I'm not going to need all 10. It's just a couple extra just in case I break one or something. Same with the green bulbs. And I'm not sure which is going to be the better way to fix the lap holders to the wheel rim, which is down here on the floor. That's what we're going to use as the frame. Just a bicycle wheel. And that is a 26 inch bike wheel. But uh, for fixings, I've either got these, because oddly enough, these mounting holes line up exactly with two of these uh, spoke holes. But I just want to know, will that go through? Oh, it will. That's alright then, because I'll go through from this side and just screw that in. I may have to get thread started first in these because I go in so far. Because for some reason this oh, the hole on where are you? Hole on this side is actually smaller than the hole on that side. I don't know why they did that but that's the way it's been made. But if that actually fails, I can sort of wire it on with this old sort of fencing wire stuff that I've got here. So that's another sort of a fail safe, if you like. So if one doesn't work, I've got a plan B. Same with this. This will only be temporary though if I have to use this just to see if it works. Because as you know from the fail video, only one light lit up. But I'll show you why, because I've got it here. This is one mil cable, which is actually too narrow. So, when I laid the cable in like this, you see, there's uh, quite a gap there, I can move it around. So basically, these pins were not making contact in here. And it, basically the one that did make contact was just by luck, pretty much. But if I now use this 2.5, as you can see, it actually fills that hole up and this will work. I hope. That's the general idea anyway. So I'm going to just take you back a little bit. And just move the camera up so we've got the wheel in line. I don't think I'll need all these screwdrivers, but i just like to have a assortment again just in case. So what I'm going to start off with is unraveling the cable. Now if I actually unravel the uh, one mil cable as well and oh that's the inside bit. I was going to try and salvage some from the old town council barn over there, but because uh, believe it or not, UK power networks have been over there and disconnected power completely from the building. They've taken out the mains, fuses, everything. There is no cable going to that building now. That is usually done if the building is going to get demolished. So. Or 
and uh, they've actually secured everything up. I don't know why, there's nothing in there. Because obviously I got nosy. <laughs> I got nosy before they sealed everything up. It's all been sealed up. I screwed every all the doors shut. I ain't kidding. <laughs> like I said, I don't actually know why. Because if they're going to be demolished, there's nothing really dangerous in any of them. They're just empty rooms. So well, I don't know. Right. What I want to do? Oh, I have forgotten one. Oh no, I haven't. I thought I'd forgotten my PVC tape. But all you do with these lamp holders, you just lay the cable on. I do believe you can still get them. These are actually quite old, these ones. These have got 1965 written on them. I don't know if they all have, but some had 65. Yep, that's got 65 as well. And then you just... Make sure I'm on camera. Preferably without cross-threading it. I've found it's actually quite easy to cross-thread these. I think, yeah, I've done it with that one. Son of a... Get on there for Pete's sake. You literally just screw it down when you can get it on there. There we go. And when you screw it down, it just presses the cable onto the spikes. And, uh... Hey Preston, if I can, I want to get these holes in line with the cable because then I'll go around the rim. Now what I want to do, because there's a uh, bare copper there. Obviously if I was going to make this to sell I wouldn't use PVC tape. I'd have like a proper sealed cap or something put over it. But I haven't got the means to do that and this will work just as well. Not when you do that it won't. <laughs> Let's try that again. There. Don't worry I've got to clean up the floor anyway. It needs vacuuming, and I knew I was going to be doing this in here, so I just didn't bother. You know. What's the bloody point if you're going to make a mess straight, almost straight away? It's a bit pointless, really, isn't it? Anyway, here we go. Just covers that up. Now we won't get a shock from that. So what I want to do, I've got some... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought I marked out eight, but no, I've only marked out seven. So what I want to do, see if I can get the first one mounted. And I'm actually going to use this one as a guide. Let's see if I can get the first screw on, shall we? Ah, that's going to be a problem. The screws are too long. And my cat is out on the side on the window ledge. And you can't get in the bedroom because I've got the window shut. So, just bear with me one second. This cable and get stay there, is it? Stay there. Stay there. Okay, I'm back. Now that I've managed to get the cat back in the window. stack these up. I don't think I've got anything sharp enough. How much am I going to need to trim off? This is a fair bit really, isn't it? Um, right. I'm just going to see if I can find some shorter bolts. Right, I found these. Which is a really short version of the ones I was going to use. And they do work. I've already trialled one. Just to see. And they will fit. So I am going to go ahead and fit the first lamp. Lamp holder rather. So, hello. 
all that in place. So just get the first screw started, which isn't really hard. Just got to push down on the screw. And because it's plastic, it just cuts the thread straight in. One in here. You might get a siren in the background. Yeah. How much cable slack did I give myself? Oh, bloody yards, that's alright then. I do want to bend this cable down like that and get it wired. So I think I'm going to need the next one somewhere where my thumb is. I'm going to need to get this right in the middle there somehow. It's going to have to bend up a bit, I think, like that. Something like that. Is that going to go somewhere there? It is. So if I can... I need to get that screwed in, screwed together. Right there. It's not fiddly because not fiddly. It's not easy because obviously this is wire for permanent wiring, so it's not flexible. this can be. I'm not going to bore you with all of these though, I'll do some off camera. I've just done it again. Yeah. That bad. Just do this one. off camera and I'll come back when we do the final connections. Let's get the other screw started. One goes in at an angle but so long as it threads I don't care. That's all it's got to do. Threading in at an angle quite well. How's that? We're still a bit wobbly. I'll tighten this one up. Ooh. That one's actually um, threaded itself. Oops. May have partially been my fault. Anyway, I'm going to shut you off while I get the rest of these on. It's only. How about another? Five, I think I've got to do. I just want to roughly, you know, get the gap the same way. Actually, measure that gap. Actually, there's no point measuring the gap, is there? Because it might differ where the holes are on the rim. Right. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Okay. All the lamp holders are on. All I've got to do now is attempt 
to get this cable connected to that. So I need to strip that right back to about there, I think. And we'll be good. I don't actually need that wire, isn't it? I will earth this in the future, but for now, I'm not. If that's too short, it's tough, <laughs> basically. One. Thought I'd cut through it for a second there. Take a screw out the cord grip. Just getting in the way, so I'm going to take the cord grip off altogether for now. Ouch. Get one, don't you? It's got to be a pain. I said this was going to be a pain, didn't I? Uh, just trim the copper smidge. Right. Let's do one at a time. Not enough. And I'll go in. I'm just being an absolute butt about going in. If 
I can get one of these to go on that green string of lights so I can get it to go on this. There's one, and that was nearly stabbed into my hand. There's blue. Simply blue to blue, brown to brown, can't go wrong. Right. Now, can I? that into there without damaging the insulation that is the question keeping in mind that this is not flexible wire so we go a little bit further oh. there we go Almost got the blue wire to go in. Well, I'm going to need a big one, so for now, it's just too stiff to bend into place, that's all. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this off all together. Use plan B. And I can whack some bulbs in and uh, away we go. He says. Like I said, this is just for temporary purposes. So I just want to. Test it <laughs> simply. Test it until I can get a um, a bigger one of these. Actually, I've got exactly. I know exactly what I might do. as I will have an earth wire connected to this as well just to earth out the wheel frame, just in case should just be able to get both of those in there like that. Screw it down. Put that over there. You should be able to plug the seven blobs in. Yeah, unlike the fail video, I'm going for seven this, um, green ones these times. be good bulbs because before I actually you know put them all away I did uh, check them right moment of truth is this gonna be another what what wah moment Ooh. I've got two there that aren't working could be they're not connected or it could be blown bulbs so what I'm gonna do I can't remember which ones they bloody were now it's this one and the one opposite it it was this one and that one 
I'm just going to take one of these bulbs that I know work and put in here. Plug it in again. No, those two definitely don't want to work. Right. bulbs out. I believe it was this one, wasn't it? Alright. So this one's at the top. I'm going to start with this one first. I'm going to unscrew it. screws. So, screw that down a bit more. Plonk in a bulb. Do we work now? No, we don't. A dodgy lamp holder, maybe. It's gone in. Change it. much of a fail as last time, at least I've only got two that weren't working. Put a blob in it. Blob? What the hell's a blob? It's still not working. This one was the... Was it that one? No, that one worked. Was it this one? So... What I'm going to do... I'm going to move you actually, so I'm not blocking your view. I'm going to take these off to here and see if I can figure out why it ain't working. If I can, I'm going to leave the screws in. To assemble it as I went so I knew exactly where to put the lamp holders. Alright. Put one in there as well. I think I got the right one.
that might be why. Colours and that cross threaded it. Not that time. Let's see if that rectified the problem with that one. The cable inside was arched, so it wouldn't have been connecting properly. So let's just try that one. This is getting annoying. got it to work. So I've got that one sorted. So it's just this one to sort now. I've got a funny feeling it's probably a similar issue. I think the cable might be sort of bridged in it, like a humpback bridge. Yep, it is. So if I actually get this, just flatten the cable out. Then put this on. Screw it down as tight as I bloody can. Stick the blub in, plug it in. Fingers crossed. Yep, I've just done that one as well. There we go, boys. I need to do is screw these back to the bloody wheel rim. I'm just going to do that and I'll be back. Success! Now all I've got to do is just get the proper connector for this. Like I said, that one's too small unfortunately. But I will put it together. Keep hold of it, but yeah, it's working. It's actually working great. I've got to secure all this bit down as well, which I'll do when I get the connector. There's no point doing it now because I'll have to undo it all to put the new connector on. screw missing but I found it. So, simple to make. I might, if I use it as a Christmas decoration, I might um, 
put some tinsel or something around it just to decorate it up. And, uh, I've used up some of my lamp holders now. That that's got a base on it, that's got a base on it. So where's the top for this one? We've got a top missing. Oh, it's rolled onto the floor, that's all. I did want to get eight in there, but there isn't quite enough room. I think if I had something like a 700C wheel or a 28 inch wheel, I could probably get the extra eight, number eight in it. But uh, I think the gap here is just a smidge bigger than the rest. Literally just, you know, a little smidge. But that doesn't matter, I'm not worried about that. The rest of the gaps are. They're actually all equal. There's three spoke holes between each lamp holder. I think it's just an extra one up here. and Yeah, it's just an extra one between these two. That's all, but I couldn't really help that unless I wanted to drill another hole into the wheel and I couldn't be asked. <laughs> I just left it as it was. It's not really noticeable, not unless you're like I am and got a good eye for detail like that, but... shot off an armor. No. Nope. Just make sure that was insulated. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.